So this is the uh, seller tools area. The area we're specifically, again, going to be touching upon is the how to set up your shipping settings. You can find the shipping, uh, the entry to the shipping settings under the seller account information and settings and, uh, area. It's uh, a link about four from the bottom called View Edit Your Shipping Settings. So let's go ahead and click that. Now I have some things already set up here, um, just uh, as a demonstration of what it looks like after you do have some shipping settings uh, configured within your account. Um, you would see what uh, your current saved shipping definitions are on the left. The control panel is actually on the right. And that's where you would actually um, set up your definitions. And we're going to go through those uh, one by one. So uh, let me get rid of what I have here so far. As you can tell, we have some nice pop-ups tell you if, whether or not you really, really want to uh, get rid of your shipping definition. Oh, yeah, that's a different one. I can't get rid of that one. Okay. Okay, this one, they it's a... Um, one that you can't get rid of because the Continental U.S. Street is uh, required by all sellers. Uh, the ones I did delete are uh, Alaska and um, the uh, the Alaska and Hawaii, Hawaii. Uh, shipping settings. So let's start by looking at um, the shipping definition uh, uh, inter uh, user interface. <clears throat> we have these different sections called scope region method and model. Now the scope is always going to be global. Um, this is uh, the only option and it, it does set up the marketplace to be able to uh, um, add definitions that you can apply globally. Currently we do not uh, sell globally through the marketplace. Uh, it's, it's US only but uh, we do try to build out our functionality uh, looking ahead of where we actually want to go. But currently, it's US only. Um, the region, they're separated into three separate, uh, three separate parts. One's Alaska Street, the other is Continental US Street, and then we have Hawaii Street. Now, the reason why we do this is because um, Alaska and Hawaii, if you are familiar with shipping with UPS, for example, it, that will only go two days. Uh, shipping uh, UPS Blue. Uh, so we want to give the sellers the opportunity to set up those shipping rates separately because they tend to be more as, um, you know, the, you have to go air. There's no ground going to really Alaska. I mean, I guess you could, but that would be really expensive. And uh, obviously you can't drive to Hawaii. So uh, we separated those two out. Now, the one that you have to set up is the Continental U.S. Street. You don't have to set up Alaska Street or Hawaii Street. If you do not um, create shipping definitions for Alaska and Hawaii, you will not be receiving orders from Alaska and Hawaii. So uh, let's sec uh, select the region uh, U.S. Street. Uh, the method is uh, standard, expedited, two-day, and one-day. Those are the four different method types. Um, the setup for each four, each of those four is exactly the same. I would imagine that the, um, the amounts charged would be different. For right now, we're going to set up uh, standard. Now, we have different models of, uh, of the shipping. Uh, we have per shipment ban and banded by, uh, and banded, what we call banded by. So the per shipment, uh, per item, means that you have a base amount plus for every item that's added to the cart, you uh, add an incremental amount. Per shipment per weight means that you still have a base amount, but it's based on weight. So every increment of a pound you add to the cart, um, uh, you also add an increment in uh, shipping fee. Now, the banded, and we'll, we'll see what these look like. The banded by item, banded by extended price, and banded by weight are, are uh, things like, uh, for example, if you're doing banded by extended price, it's uh, 0 to $10. You charge a certain amount from 
you know, $10 and a penny to $20, you charge another amount. So you can do it by price, you can do it by item, and you could also do it by weight. So we're going to look at this, the shipment per item. It's one of the more um, common ones that sellers uh, set up. Now, as soon as you select a model, the user interface expands. So we have uh, per shipment, we have the shipment rates, the free shipping threshold, and uh, uh, an area here where we call review and save, where you can actually either clear your shipping definition that you just set up, or you can actually save it. Now, if you, uh, one of the features I want to point out on this page is uh, show more help. It actually gives you um, some step-by-step -step, uh, in the event uh, that you need something to refer back to if you forgot um, certain aspects of what we've done today. So the per shipment rate is actually your base amount. So I want to set it up for $5. And then the per item rate, meaning for every item that's added to the cart, you're going to add an incremental amount. So that, for me, I'm going to set it up as a dollar. Now you also have the option of adding what's called the free shipping threshold. And um, this is uh, a feature that enables sellers to offer free shipping if um, the, a, certain, a certain threshold is met. So when you check this box, it actually expands out. So you could do it by price, quantity, or weight, depending on how on, on which model you choose. The model we choose, uh, chose is um, based off of, it's going to be based off of, um, it could be based off of price or quantity. So for example, if it's by price, if, um, if a customer, for example, orders something that's $100 or greater, then they're going to get free shipping. If it's by quantity, uh, if they order five or more products, then they get free shipping. Um, weight really doesn't apply because we selected the per shipment per item. If you selected per shipment per weight, then this um, weight free shipping threshold will actually be uh, applicable in uh, enabling you to enter how much in pounds or greater um, that you would set this threshold for free shipping. So for right now, we're going to say I'm not going to offer any free shipping. Um, and that's really it for per item, uh, uh, per shipment per item. Now, um, how does this actually work out? Well, the customer will uh, receive a $5 uh, shipment fee as the base. So as they start adding things to the cart, the first item that they add is going to add a dollar on top of that. If they add two items, then it's, uh, then it's going to add two dollars on top of the five dollars to make it a total of seven dollars, so on and so forth. Now, if we actually set it up per shipment per weight, we still set up the same five dollars, and we could still say set up the same one dollar. But this works a little differently in that it works off of the weight of the product. So your base is still $5. If a customer adds a product that weighs a pound, then it'll add a dollar on top of the base rate of $5. Something that weighs two pounds would um, add two dollars. And anything in between, a half a pound would be 50 cents, a pound and a half would be a uh, dollar fifty. And again, you also have the option of um, setting up your free shipping threshold. And since we're doing per ship, well, you, could, you could still do it for, for price. So you can say if it's $100 or greater, then go ahead and offer free shipping. Um, quantity could still apply. And you also have the additional option for adding weight since our shipping calculations are going to look at weight as well. But again, we're not going to we'll offer that. Now let's look at banded by item. And again, the UI changes. So um, if we have a quantity, so this is going to be based on quantity. From zero to a quantity of, let's say, 10, I want to charge $5. 
and to add a new level from $11 to, let's say, um, 20 I want to charge um, uh, $6. Uh, I want to charge $6.50. I'll just say $6 for simplicity's sake. And then my final band is going to be from a quantity of 21 to the max. It's going to be $7. So if a, a buyer has up to 10 items in their cart, they're going to be charged $5. If they have 11 to 20 items in their cart, they're going to be charged 6 and so on. Um, and this is what we call banded by item. Now, uh, we also have the other options banded by extended price, of which you do it by price instead of the items that are added to the cart. So let's say it's $10. Uh, the rate's going to be 5 again. And then from 10.01 to $20, uh, that's 6. And each time I want to add a level, again, I'm using the Add New Band button. And then from $20 and a penny to the maximum of, uh, of the order, uh, it's going to be $7. So if I order an item that's $9.99, I'm going to be charged $5 shipping. Uh, if I'm uh, adding an item that has a price between $10 and a penny to $20, then I'm going to be charged $6 shipping. And uh, the last one here is banded by weight. And again, it works very similar to the ones uh, before, except we're going to be using weight. So from zero weight to 10, let's say 10 pounds, I'm going to do $5. Um, from uh, 10 and a, a, a hundredth of a pound to 20 pounds, I'm going to add six. And then from 20 pounds and uh, a, a smidge to max, I'm going to charge $7. Okay. So here we have uh, an item that weighs 5 pounds, we'll get charged $5. An item that weighs 19 pounds or anywhere between here, these two thresholds, you'll get charged 6. And then from 20 pounds up to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to the max, which means you know there's there's not a real ceiling there. Uh, you'll get charged seven dollars for something that weighs, for example, uh, 100 pounds. So if you want to save this, you just simply click the save button. Uh, I have to get well. Uh, I'm going to change this to Alaska, so you could actually see what it looks like. Uh, and then save. And then it will show on the left side of the screen exactly what you set up. And that's really all uh, there is to it in terms of the different shipping options. Again, um, the scope is always going to be global. The region, you know, continental U.S. street is uh, required. The Alaska and Hawaii um, are optional. Um, you want to, um, if you're offering these four different types of shipping options, you want to set those up separately. You have to do it for each of, of the regions as well. So you're going to have a standard Alaska or an expedited Alaska, which you know is going to only probably be one day. Uh, Continental U.S. Street, you have a little more options there. And your standard uh, two-day, one-day, or just simply go with the generic expedited. Um, so you'll need to set them up, each one of these, if you offer all four of these, or offer all three or four of these, then you'll have to set them all up separately for each region if you decide also to um, ship to Alaska and Hawaii. And then the models. Um, it's uh, pretty convenient whenever you select a, uh, a model of shipping, um, you'll see that the user interface expands into the, an, an area which you can enter those uh, different options. Okay. 
Now, uh, for some of the sellers that are using inventory feeds, if you look at uh, version 3 or version 5 of the inventory feed, there is a section called um, shipping rate standard, shipping rate expedited, there's shipping rate two day and shipping rate one day as well as same day. Anything you add in those shipping rate fields in the inventory feed, but in the inventory feed will override what you have uh, presented here. So for example, if you have some items that you want to um, uh, have a different shipping rate for, then what's set up here, then you could do so by entering that amount in the inventory feed. And it'll override your uh, all the shipping definitions that you've set up here. The difference is if you do enter an amount in any of those shipping rate fields in the inventory feed, it's going to be per quantity. Meaning that, for example, if you have a listing and you decide, well, I want to charge, you know, twelve dollars for shipping for this uh, for this listing. So. Every time a customer adds a quantity, uh, uh, let's say uh, one, uh, then they're going to be charged the $12 once. However, if they order three of those, they're going to be charged the $12 three times. So you have to be very aware that uh, it doesn't work like some of these uh, shipping defin mo definition models that we have set up in here. For example, the per shipment per item where you set up a base and you're just adding an incremental amount. Whenever you enter the um, shipping rate in, uh, in the inventory feed, it's going to be the full amount uh, multiplied by the quantity. And, and our example would be the full $12 multiplied by 3, which would be the shipping rate. Uh, and that's how some sellers also are able to define, okay, even though I have free shipping threshold here, I may have some items in which I want to specifically add free shipping to to override all the things that I've set up here. Uh, you would enter zero in the shipping rate field, and for those, and for those items um, that you've chosen to have that zero in the shipping rate in any of the shipping rate fields, it will be offered uh, free shipping. And um, that's really all there is to it for um, setting up the shipping options or the shipping definitions. Uh, does anyone have any questions regarding what we've went over? I think pretty straightforward, um, especially with the free.